Assalamualaikum guys, this is me Senpai Gamersan, I'm your host Senpai, we are playing the game The Dustwood, The Mystery, god damn it, wait guys, so Dana, I finally turned off everything and uh, here we go, let's do it, the explanation about the story of The Dustwood, you guys already know what's gonna be happen, the Midnight Dustwood of the Jacob's deal, so what really happened, Jesse and Phil? There's a chat. Here we go. Tell me, is there anything going on between you and Senpai or son? Okay, first of all, well, I shouldn't have dragged you into that. Wasn't, that wasn't fair. Let's just forget about it. Thanks, Phil. Tell me, is there anything going on between you and um? I wasn't expecting this question. I don't know what you could call this thing between me and Senpai. I really like him a lot and I think he feels the same way but given the circumstances we really had really never had a time for each other. Can we talk about this some other time when we got more time especially not over a phone I can't just tell you everything in one or two sentences. I see where is from anyway I don't really know then maybe you should find out oh and come to the Aurora tonight if you can. What? Why you want to know where I'm from, bro? Feel like you're a hacker or something. So what really happened is in, this has happened in the group chat. You guys can see I just changed the theme. I just bogged it. The pendulum one, which you guys gonna be love it. Yeah, that's the important part and I already chatted out. And is there any, this one is done and everyone then off. And what really happened? This is just on the news. Here we go, let's play. missing girl and a body in Duskwood's forest. What looked like it was a clean-cut case now appears to be more complicated. At today's press conference, the police broke their silence for the first time and announced details about the running investigation. The deceased was identified as Duskwood local Emmy Bell Lewis. The young woman's body was found a few days ago by a man who was going for a walk in the forest. Possible ties to the recent disappearance of the missing Hannah Donford were neither confirmed nor denied by police officials. What? So the police are starting to make their information public. <coughs> All right then. What does this mean? I think we are gonna find out soon enough they are hoping the public might help them they are hoping that public might help them mm, i see i knew her i have seen her before i mean me too. Oh my goodness! Emmy is in the same drawing class as me. Emmy was the same drawing class as you? What a coincidence! I never even realized she was missing. Because the class had so many people in it, because it's not unusual for someone not to attend class once in a while. There must be some sort of connection between Hannah and Amy. There isn't. How can you tell so quickly? I think we shouldn't jump onto any conclusion here. I mean, that in both ways. Coley, can you maybe tell us a bit about Emmy? Probably not a lot. Okay, we sometimes meet with the whole group outside of the drawing class, but Emmy never joined us. She was always very reserved. Reserved? 
probably not a lot. We sometimes meet with the whole group outside of the drawing class, but Amy never joined us. She was always very reserved. Oh, well, I haven't got any question. I have got a few question about Amy. Do you know how old Amy is? Not exactly, but I guess she's about our age. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, was Amy born in Dustwood? Sorry, I have no idea. But that's probably something we could find out or pretty easily. Was Emmy married or something? Nah. How do you know? No idea. I just do. Suspicious. Suspicious. <laughs> what the fuck, suspicious? Fine, I'll just be quiet then. Was she his friend with Hannah? No, that I'm aware. But I don't think so, no. Hannah will probably only have seen her too. I'm not sure if this is useful information, but I think she lives somewhere by the post office. But I can't think of anything else that might help us. Does anyone else know anything about Amy? Cause that wasn't exactly helpful, Chloe. What about you, Richie? You are so quiet. I bet you know something. I'm afraid I have to disappoint you, senpai. Wasn't she the one of your customer? Nah. She was probably a bit too tactic. I think it's more likely she didn't have a car. I saw her on her bike a lot. Lily and Jesse are online. Maybe they know something about Amy. I just watched that news segment again and I noticed something. What the fuck? You see that rack rock on the left? Sure. Go on. Do you know what that looks like? Like a landmark, like a memorial, like right around the corner from me. Wait, let me just take a look. It's look like uh, I got it. Like a memorial, like a landmark. Hmm, a bit. Looks like some sort of memorial. You mean like a tombstone, right? <coughs> Correct. So it was a memorial. Okay. So Amy was found in the graveyard. No, the body was found in the forest of Duskwood. Did the murderer leave there? there? Something terrible must have happened there before Amy's death. Right then, let's check it out. Hmm, that's possible. You can say that. Okay, that's possible. The murder wanted to express something. So, the murder isn't just an asshole, but an expen expressive asshole which fit his approach perfectly. So Amy clearly did something. 
and that's why he killed her. Polishable, but what did she do? What do I know? I'm not a member of your puzzle club. If we could only read what it says on the rock, that would probably be insightful, but you are not allowed in the forest. <coughs> Please keep your eyes and ears bleed. All right, I got some other stuff to do. We always do. Well then. Adios. Miss Call. Phil has tried to contacting you. you. Try to call me. Hey Phil, what's up? I still can't believe it's Emmy. It could be even one of you guys too. Remember how glad we are that it wasn't Anna. Of course I still am. <laughs> wow. Hmm. I mean, this body just becomes so real. This dead woman got a face. The face of Amy Bell Lewis from my drawing class. Who's absent? You never have even notice. You don't have to mention that. I know. And I feel terrible because of it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure now that Amy hasn't been coming to class for a quite while, at least weeks before Anna disappeared. You think there's a connection to her murder, I mean, or rather do you see one already? No, but I think it might be important. Something happened in Emmy's life and that's why she stopped coming to class. Maybe she was just tired of course a man in her life. Maybe. In any case, I'm gonna ask my drawing teacher if Emmy was signed herself out or something. Or if she told her why she was absent. What the hell? So Richie uploaded the picture. Oh, that's how Richie looked like. Wow. Oh, that's how Richie looked like. I thought it was some kind of dope. That's a marvelous guy, man. Alright then, best friends forever. Wow. Hamburger. Oh, that motherfucker did go there. Wait, what? What did he show me? <clears throat> or if she told her why she's absent. I mean, looks pretty similar to Hannah at first glance. Do you know what Thomas told me? What did he tell you, Senpai? That Hannah was acting strange just before she went missing. This thing with Amy just reminded me. Thomas told me the same thing recently too. And that thing with the bracelet? But Hannah was totally normal with me. Strange. We should keep it in mind. I mean, look pretty similar to Hannah at first glance. Hmm. 
They are both same age. They have similar body type and height. They are both attractive. Don't you think So you are saying the offender select his victim because of their appearance? No, that would be plenty error. Yes, which strongly indicates that he is a sex offender. It is possible. What happened to him is really worries me. I think nobody noticed that she had disappeared. And that's the horrible thought. It's bothered me. Oh, fuck off. And that's the horrible thought. It is indeed. We have to make sure that the killer get his just dessert. I feel like we owe that much to her. Me too, Kole. <clears throat> Can I ask you something, Kole? I want to know what you value most in a man. Really, are you trying to dating her? Honesty. Surely money is at least a bonus, right? So you don't care about the look. No, I really don't care about money at all. So you don't care about the look? It's hard to explain. I mean, I don't have any preference when it comes to looks. I think my feelings tell me what I prefer. It sounds terrible. <laughs> but I think I know what you mean. The question was terrible. I don't even understand what you mean. Well, I think I know what you mean. Are there any no goals for you? What do you mean, no geos for you? Are you trying to dating? I don't think that would be work. I don't need to date with her. And what about you? What's your type when it's come to women? Just like you, I don't have one. Explaining that would take a long. I got a soft spot for a certain hair color. It would take a long. Okay. I can't date. Do you want to at least tell me what your hair color is? I have a dark hair. I thought you didn't care about looks. My hair is light. I have no idea what you would call this. I have a dark hair. Oh, so you're trying to flirt, bro? You'll see my hair when I come to visit you guys. What, really? You're coming to Dustwood? Once henna was found. Great, spoil the surprise. Once henna was found. I'm looking forward to seeing you, senpai. Thanks. Phil got arrested. For what? You gotta be kidding me. The police just stormed Aurora and arrested him. They took him away in the handcuff was some kind of gangster. <laughs> like was some because of something with Amy? Because of something with Amy? I don't know. Thomas is online. What? I don't know anything. 
I only found out over the phone myself. I'm so sorry, Jesse. It must be misunderstanding. Yeah, I should darn well think so. This was born to happen. <clears throat> That's why I didn't want to get involved. Because this is exactly kind of thing that happens when you do. Whoa! What's going on here? Phil was just arrested. What the fuck? What made us think we could just get ourselves involved in some kidnapping case? Jesse, you need to calm down. Easy for you to say, Cole. All right, let all just calm down, minute. <clears throat> I haven't got time for this. I have to find out why my brother was arrested. Jesse is now offline. Oh man, that was really unexpected. I'd like to know why exactly he was arrested. Amy, pretty sure. I'm involved in both cases. Amy, pretty sure. I'm not sure if I lie to say that without a wallet membership card, but the timing just reached the body from the forest. Whatever that's supposed to mean, I'd like to know that too. Then things still was arrested because of Amy. Okay. Danny's jealous because we never include him in our investigation. I'd like to know that too. The police give the body's identity secret for half an eternity, then suddenly make it public. And what do you know? Our barkeeper get arrested. Coincidence? Why aren't you calling him by his name anymore? Have you given him up already? Nah. He's just a barkeeper, that's all. Dan has interesting point here. This could all of be part of the police tactics. Or was maybe making identity public some sort of bait. And Phil was swallowed it. Shouldn't we wait for Jesse with this conversation? This feels wrong. I know what you mean, senpai. No. Why? There is no way for her to be objective here, as you saw. What? Senpai spoke to Phil recently. Maybe you want to say something about that, especially for Lily and then that weren't in the good and after all, that would take a long, sure I can do that. Okay, Phil was very cooperative, I always imagined him different. Okay, which I thought was where? Thankfully, something about him bothered me. We were vibing, you know. He was trying to deflect from the topic. We were vibing, you know. He knew straight away that I wanted to talk about Anna. In the end, he invited me in the Aurora.
straight. Strange, right? Under the condition that I take one of you guys along with me. And he promised me to free drink. It didn't seem suspicious to me anyway. And you said then you got the feeling that Phil was lying to you. Phil in a bad enough light as it is. In a hand insight. I think I was wrong. You're right, thanks Richie. You're right, thanks Richie. Ah, that reminds me. What reminds you? You know that Hannah could never already had number of senpai from the start. In the case you are wondering how we know that. He's been making threatening phone calls. And that's why we wanted to ask you if one of you may be passed on this number. Nope. Why should I? Of course I didn't pass on the number. I did. What? What? But you already know why. Yes, and we are not about to forget. But your video came much later. I mean, more towards the beginning when Senpai first joined us. In that case, no. Me neither. Then we have assumed that Hena could never notice that Hena sent that message. You didn't happen to know that Phil before you came to us, did you, Senpai? Well, what are you implying? Could it be that it was a Phil who sent me your number? From the Hena's phone, I mean. Would that make him more or less suspicious? Neither. I think. Phyllis definitely immediately recognized the number of the senpai when they were calling. I think we should take a break here. It's all getting too negative again, isn't it? Slightly. We found out five minutes ago that the police arrested someone we knew. Let at least think about it for a while before we start making a solution again. Alright, let's talk later. Hey Senpai Gamer son, I guess that's it, that's over now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, let me know what you guys think of my gameplay. It's gonna be take a lot of time and I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe, the next gameplay gonna be gone long. Hope you guys enjoy it. And bye.